Now in video 2359 we made this, which is kind of a combination between the scroller roller and the Wolfram drive. And in here what we had, there we are, <laughs> some rollers that worked against this inner sleeve here to create the leverage that the Wolfram drive needs. Now the Wolfram drive actually has a big problem. The big problem is alignment of the gears, because normally you see Wolfram drives in gear form, and when you have this step in a gear with that leverage, then aligning them properly as it works across all four is challenging to actually machine and makes it more expensive. Now I chose to do it this way because you don't have to align cylinders, because it did lead to its own problem, and the problem was so when you're creating a lever, of course, you need a ground. And the way we created it was this TPU ring in the cap. So the cylinder presses against the TPU ring and it has to have that pressure. Of course, the knock-on effect of that is it takes a fair bit of effort to turn it and you could see that in the demonstration. But then it struck me, of course, this is basically also cylinders and here, we could replace these with gears instead of having this pressure plate. So kind of a half Wolfram drive. So what I've done is I've created in the band the same size, but this time it's geared. And the yellow rollers here can be replaced by these white rollers, and the white rollers have gears on the end of them so we can gear it instead of using pressure. So what we're going to do is swap the rollers over. So having swapped our yellow rollers with the smooth end, with our white ones with the geared end, and taken out the TPU ground, and put in a geared ground, we can slot the whole thing back together. Now it's back together, we can give it a turn and see how it does. And if we look there, that's the dot that's our marker. Let's give this handle one full turn. There we go. And you can see it's much easier to turn it now, which is exactly what we wanted. Now you might have noticed that this moved slightly further than it did in the previous one. That's only because the step size changed, and so we lost some of the gear ratio because the step size was so much bigger. But the big advantage of this, what we were looking for, is that it was easier to turn it than the previous one that had the cylinders pressing against the rubber and here we've got the de gear teeth acting as a ground against the other gear toothed wheel. Now I called this improving the Wolfram scroller drive with a question mark because in one sense we, we have improved something about it. It's easier to turn and still does the same job but in another sense of course we've lost something. What we've lost is the ease of manufacture. To make a cylinder like you had is very much simpler than to make a cylinder with a geared end on it because we have to machine the gears. And the other thing that we've lost is the ability to get huge reduction ratios. Because this is a working model, of course, I've made it fairly chunky so we can see what's going on. This step here is in fact quite large. We can take that step really way, way down and in this you could get thousands to one of a gear ratio. This is a 10 or 20 to 1, not that impressive, but if we make that step really small, we can get huge gear ratios with it. With a gear actually, instead of a cylinder, then we have a manufacturing limit to it. So we can't get thousands to 1 if we put a gear in it. We can if we use a cylinder. So we've given up the ease of manufacture and the ability to get a ridiculous gear ratio in a single drive by making it easier to turn. And of course, that's often the way it is. When you make something, what you're actually doing is balancing compromises. So if we wanted a gear that was easier to turn, but with a limit in the gear reduction that is more expensive to manufacture, it's probably a good way to go. If we want huge gear ratios that is dirt cheap to make, that's probably a good way to go. It really depends what it is you want. And once you're looking at something, then you have to think about the compromises that you're going to make. Because there is no perfect solution. And that's because we don't live in a perfect world. Anyway, I thought I would show you that. Of course, those extra files are put onto Thingiverse as just the files in themselves. So if you remember when we made this, we made these as pecs. 
So the gears will be as pegs, and instead of the TPU ring in here, we'll have the gear rings. And that's the only real changes that we made, and you'll be able to adapt that into the gear-driven version instead of the cylinder-driven version, if you want to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.